Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you are, no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! In today's devotion, we're going to learn about all the friends of Jesus. Now I can imagine when I say all the friends of Jesus, I mean his disciples. When Jesus was on earth, he had 12 special friends that walked with him throughout the years. He did all the wonderful things that he was doing. And we want to find out where he found those friends from. Now, this story is from many parts of the New Testament in the book of Matthew and Mark and Luke. So today... We're going to read about Jesus and his disciples. Jesus lived in Capernaum, a town near Lake Galilee. There he talked to people about God and healed the ones who were ill. News of his teaching spread quickly and everywhere he went, Crowds of people came to listen to him. One day, Jesus was walking along the shore of the lake. As usual, people crowded him. There was a boat pulled up on the shore, owned by a fisherman called Peter and his brother Andrew. Jesus stepped into it. Row a little way out on the lake so I can speak to the people, said Jesus. The two men did as Jesus asked. Later, Jesus told Peter and Andrew to row farther away from the shore and put out their fishing nets. We have fished all night and caught nothing, said Peter. But they did as Jesus told them. When they began to pull in the nets, they were so full of fish. The nets were almost breaking. Peter and Andrew shouted across to two other fishermen, James and John, to come to help. Together, they filled both boats with fish. When the four men saw how many fish they'd caught, they were very frightened and knelt in front of Jesus. Don't be afraid, said Jesus. Come with me and I will make you fishermen of people. Peter and Andrew, James and John rowed back to shore and unloaded the fish. Then they left their boats and went with Jesus on his journeys. One day, Jesus saw a rich man called Matthew. He worked for the Romans, collecting taxes. The Jewish people hated the Romans who ruled them and hated their tax collectors even more. Jesus said to Matthew, come with me. Without saying a word, Matthew stood up and followed Jesus and the other disciples. Matthew gave a feast in his house for Jesus. Some religious people saw Jesus there. They asked Jesus' friends why such a good man sat down at a table with so many bad people. Jesus heard them. Healthy people don't need a doctor, he said. It's the sick who need help. I have come to ask the bad people to change their ways. The good people don't need me. One evening, Jesus walked high up a mountain and stayed there all night, praying to God. The next day, He chose the rest of his disciples. They were Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Judas, 
and Judas Iscariot, with Peter, Andrew, James and John, and Matthew, these twelve men were Jesus' special friends and followers. They went everywhere with him, listened to his teachings, and watched the wonderful things he did. He told them what God had sent him to do. Do you want to be one of Jesus' followers? I know I would have loved to be there, walking with Jesus when he was on earth. It's amazing that Jesus called all sorts of people, fishermen, tax collectors, what other people called bad people. Jesus hung around everyone. Jesus didn't look down on anyone. He didn't think that he was too special to talk to the low of the lows. Jesus had asked Peter, James, John, and Andrew to follow him, even though they were fishermen. They had caught a lot of fish that day. I would have thought that they'd go sell the fish, make a lot of money, build a big house, and drive a lovely car. But no, they dropped everything to follow Jesus. Matthew, on the other hand, was a tax collector who in those days were very rich. And when Jesus came by Matthew and said, follow me, Matthew put everything down and followed Jesus. Wow. What are we going to give up to follow Jesus? In today's world, many people don't want to follow Jesus. But Jesus is calling us every day to follow him. And what does it mean to follow Jesus? It means that we listen to his teachings and we do what he says. Jesus is looking for more followers. So would you go out there and tell people about the love of Jesus and how Jesus has come to change our hearts and make us more like him? Let us pray. Dear God, Today we read about how Jesus picked his special friends. We know that after Jesus died and rose again and went to heaven, we have become the special friends of Jesus. Help us to go out there and let others know that you want more special friends. And we know that they would listen and follow you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, to be a friend of Jesus, we must listen to what he says. And one of the things that Jesus asked us to do was to tell others about him. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.